Graph y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. This equation is in standard form. We've got five steps for graphing an equation in standard form. The first step is we want to find and draw the axis of symmetry. So here's step number one. Now your axis of symmetry has a formula. It's x equals negative b divided by 2a. So I'm going to look at my equation. I'm going to identify my a, my b, and my c. So the a is in front of the x squared, so a would be negative 1. The b is always the number or the coefficient of the x term, so that would be 4. And we'll go ahead and find c, even though we don't need it for the axis of symmetry. Our c is the number that's by itself, or the constant, and that's negative 3. And I'm going to take my a and my b, and I'm going to plug them into this equation. So I have negative, and then my b value is 4 divided by 2 times a, and a is negative 1. <clears throat> and when I substitute in for a, a number for a variable, I always like to put it in parentheses. And then we're going to simplify. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then negative 4 divided by negative 2 will give us x equals 2. Now, how do you graph the line x equals 2? Well, that's a vertical line and it goes through 2 on the x-axis. So here's my vertical line. This is the axis of symmetry. It divides our parabola in half. Step 2, we need to find the vertex. The vertex is a point, and it is going to be on the axis of symmetry. So we're going to find it, and we're going to plot it. So we know it has to have an x value of 2. So the x-coordinate is 2. And we've got to find the y value. So how do you get the y value? Well, we're going to go to our original equation, which is y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. And if we know x is 2, I'm going to substitute 2 in for x and calculate the corresponding y value. So I've got 2 squared is 4. 4 times the negative 1 is negative 4. And then I have 4 times 2 is 8, and then minus 3. So negative 4 plus 8 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So we're just simplifying this. And so I've got the point 2, 1. I'm going to go over to 2 and 1. So there's our vertex right there. Now, if you notice, there's a negative in front of the x squared. That tells us that the parabola opens down, so we know it's going to go this direction. So we've got to find a few more points. So step three says make a table of values. Make a table. A table has an x and a y side. And you're going to pick x values to the right of the vertex. So if my vertex is at x equals 2, if I go to the right, I've got 3 and 4. I'm just going to take the next two values that are to the right, and I'm going to plug them in to the equation and calculate the y value just like I did with the vertex. So this is steps 3 and 4. It's combined. So let's calculate our values here. I've got y equals negative parentheses, I'm going to substitute the 3 in for the x now. So 3 squared is 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 3. Negative 9 plus 12 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So I'm going to have the point 3, 0. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that point, 3, 0. And then if you substitute in the 4, I'm just going to go over here. I have y equals negative parentheses 4 squared plus 4 times 4 minus 3. So 4 squared is 16 times a negative 1 is negative 16. 4 times 4 is a positive 16 minus 3. These will cancel, and it's going to give me negative 3. So at 4, I'm at negative 3. So what I have here is I have the right side of my parabola that's going down. To get the left side, step 5 says reflect the two points across the 
axis of symmetry. So here's the axis of symmetry. This point is to the right of my axis of symmetry. It's one unit to the right. I'm going to reflect it across one unit to the left. This point here is two to the right. So I'm going to reflect it two to the left. And I've got this side of my parabola. And this red line is the graph of y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3.